Can you solve this integral question? Lock your answer in the comments or poll below and keep watching to see the solution. Perhaps the easiest way to solve this is to use the double angle identity for cosine, at least one of its forms. If we replace the numerator with this, then the input is now x everywhere. So we can now split the fraction, and the cosine squared will cancel in the first one, and the sine squared will cancel in the second one, leaving us with 1 over sine squared minus 1 over cosine squared. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant, and the reciprocal of cosine is secant, so we have cosecant squared minus secant squared. Each of these functions has a known antiderivative. The antiderivative of cosecant squared is negative cotangent, and the antiderivative of secant squared is positive tangent. So the result becomes negative cotan x minus tan x plus a constant of integration c. So the correct option is d. Of course, this is not the only method we could have used. There are alternatives, so let's perhaps have a look at one of them briefly. Instead of using the double angle identity for cosine, we could have used the one for sine. The denominator is basically the square of sine x cosine x, and we know that sine 2x is identical to 2 sine x cosine x. So the product in the denominator is equivalent to one half of sine of the double angle. So if we replace this in the denominator and expand, we can take the 4 to the numerator, and it's just a constant, so we can take it outside the integral, of course. And then we can rewrite this as cosine 2x over sine 2x and leave the second sine copy in a separate fraction. This allows us to rewrite the integrand as cotan 2x times cosecant 2x. And this also has a known antiderivative, except that the input is 2x instead of x. So we have to use the chain rule in reverse and divide by 2. But the antiderivative of cosecant cotangent is negative cosecant. The answer simplifies to negative 2 cosecant 2x plus c. The form of this answer is different from the answer we obtained earlier. How can we prove that the two expressions are equivalent? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.